Hi everybody and welcome to my living room and welcome to what we're calling the isolation sessions of our live concert series on stage. Now, when everything started unfolding with the pandemic, we decided, how are we gonna do this at moving on if we all have to be at home? So that is why you are in my living room and uh, we're taking you into the living rooms of Canadian artists wherever they may be in the world to bring you some music because music therapy, it usually is reserved for people who are isolated in hospitals or seniors homes, but as we are respecting physical distancing and all trying to be at home as much as we can to not just flatten this curve but crush this curve we want to give you a little bit of a shining light every day and we're proudly partnered with music heals canada of course they specialize in music therapy and they are still accepting donations because like a lot of charities they have lost their donation stream so if you want to find out more about music therapy and a lot of great information and how music can help you through all this just go to music heals website it's musicheals.ca and every day around five ish because as we say the clocks really don't matter anymore and I don't really know what day it is uh, but we're gonna be blasting out these concerts on social media just as we are today and uh, I was so excited when I was scrolling through social media and uh, Sherry Ulrich popped up on my Instagram and I thought I wonder if Sherry would like to be a guest on what we're doing with on stage and she said yes and she is joining us right now from her co Cozy looking living room on Bowen Island. Sherry, how are you? I'm just fine. I'm actually, I'm embarrassed to say how much I'm enjoying being home. I certainly would never want it to be for this reason, but it's really a pleasure because I'm not home very much. So to have this permission to do whatever I want for as long as I want is fantastic. I'm looking at yeah, and I think we all really need to do exactly that and embrace what's happening and enjoy our homes. My my junk drawer is clean for the first time in my life. And Sherry, I understand you fixed your vacuum all by yourself a few nights ago. Good. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, I'm seeing a lot of silver linings. Again, you know, you can't say that considering that people are dying, but there, there are silver linings in the, in the bigger picture and I, I see them and I appreciate them and I'm going to try and feed them as much as possible. As we are too, and I think having little moments of things to look forward to every day are so important when we're all trying to respect uh, the boundaries of what we're supposed to be doing to stave off this pandemic from where we live. So Sherry, you obviously have had music in your life, all your life. How does music help us through get through tough times like the time we're in right now? You know, I find it interesting that when when people are, uh, they have heartbreak, they've lost someone, they've broken up, whatever it is, they don't listen to peppy music to cheer them up. They listen to something sad to help them feel what they're feeling and help them cry. Um, and I think, you know, you would think it's the other way around, but there's no doubt in my mind and never has been how healing music is. And I see it at shows. I can viscerally watch it happen in an audience. Um, it happens to me all the time when I'm taking in music. And it's just, a, as I've said this before, but I really do feel like it's the thing that humans do the best. It's the best thing that we have in this world, and, and it plays it, and it is playing a huge part in, in helping people get through this. It's helping me get through it, that's for sure, and chatting with people like you about what we're doing and artists like yourself being excited to... Uh, you actually pre-recorded some tunes when I asked you if you wanted to be involved. So let's talk about the, the tunes that you selected uh, for our isolation sessions. Oh, well, it was kind of tricky, which I, I find it is generally having written so many songs and put out so many albums. Now, every time I do put out a new album, there's a whole bunch of songs that I love that get turfed from the set list. But it, it's a general thing, I think, amongst artists that we tend to, to like our newer songs. Um, 
so there were some parameters, like there's some a couple of songs I wanted to do on piano, but when I play them live, I'm on a digital piano and I can transpose them lower. I can't do that on a real piano. <laughs> so I didn't do those, <laughs> but I, I will later, uh, because it turned out when I put out the word that I was going to do this, a whole bunch of people requested those songs. Whoops! Um, but I, uh, I, I was very grateful that you asked me to do this because frankly I know that as an artist it's all about feeding Instagram and and putting stuff out there constantly and I've been resistant just because I'm so busy doing other things I didn't really want to concentrate on that uh, so this forced me to it's like okay how am I going to record a song in my own house okay I'm going to put this up on the napkin holder with some clothes pins and some rubber bands okay I'll do that so it, it took me a couple of days to sort it out but now I can do it well, thank you. <laughs> now you can do it, of course. And uh, your new album that's out right now is called Back to Shore. Tell me a little bit uh, about the album. Well, uh, we recorded it uh, mostly in Vancouver. And uh, my daughter, Julia Graff, is uh, my engineer and co-producer, along with her partner, James Perella. So doing a project, this is our third album together. So doing a project means lots of time with them, which I love. Um, used all my favorite players in Vancouver and it was just, a, I mean, it's always a great experience. It's always a lot of work and really intense and consuming for at least a year. Um, but that's okay because that's, that's what we do. We put music out in the world. We do. And Sherry, we want to thank you for putting your music out into the world and letting us share it with our audience here on stage. Uh, if you want to buy Sherry's album, the new one that we were just talking about is called Back to Shore. All you have to do is go to her website, SherryAlrich.com, and uh, you can buy the album right there, find out all the info right there. But without further ado, here is the lovely and talented Sherry Ulrich. Hi, thanks for coming over. No one else is here. Oh, it's really nice that you came. Uh, this song took on a bit of a different meaning lately. I watched the weather coming as it moved in through the sound. The last leaves blowing sideways on the Stuck on the rain and then the snow is gonna fly by and by. But I like to say I'm sorry for the selfish things I've done, the careless words and promises I've scattered on the run. Well, maybe it'll come that I'll forgive myself in time by and by. The sun and the moon. Thank you. 
the scene of the wreckage to lay it to rest. We found our way through the trees. We could see all the pieces washed up on the beach. Oh, oh, oh. buried there in the sand. Were the words and the reasons we dropped when. So sure they'd all washed away Over time, over seasons With the tide and the waves If I had wishes Only three Well, I'd use them up So easily I'd be at least a dozen Maybe more Surely dulcimer i haven't done it in quite a while seems like the appropriate time A 
baby on my knee They always said it goes so fast Before you know they leave Well if you ever lose your way And if you fall I will be there forever I swear I will still be there
Sometimes I was hurtful and thoughtless with what I said, but most you know it's hard for life making me smile. All I used to be is still. And a huge thank you to Sherry Ulrich once again. Her album is Back to Shore and you can grab it on her website which is SherryUlrich.com and if you're an artist out there who has some original tunes and you want your chance to appear on our show, we're going to continue on with the isolation sessions as long as we all have to be at home. You can find all the information on how to submit on our website. It's onstagelive.tv and you can just look for the artist submission uh, section and go check it out there. And Music Heals is our charitable partner if you want to make a donation to them or find out more about how music therapy can help us all while we're going through our self-isolation. Just go to their website. It is musicheals.ca. And of course, we couldn't be doing this without Chambers Plan Group Insurance jumping on board with us the minute we decided to do these shows uh, from my living room. So a big shout out and Thank you to Chambers Plan Group Insurance. Chewy and I are holding the fort here at Casa de Forbes, and we will be here again tomorrow. So be sure to tune in then to find out who will be on stage. Right, Chewy? You're bored of me? <laughs> <laughs>